there, I'm Miss Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library. And for today's STEM activity, I am going to show you how to make a DIY balanced scale. For this activity, you're going to need a couple things, a ruler, some yarn, two paper cups. You could use plastic. I do advise paper for this, um, but you could use plastic. A hole punch, which is why you want paper cups, a pair of scissors, possibly some tape. I'm using painter's tape because it's easy to adjust. Um, you may not need this, but you might. And a hanger. Um, when I am using a hanger, you can just use whatever you have at home already. Um, this is easy to take apart again, so you're not going to ruin the hanger. Um, so if you need that hanger again, you can just take this apart. But I do like a hanger that have these little indents on them rather than a hanger that is smooth all the way. If you do have a hanger that is smooth all the way, you don't have one with these little indents, that is okay. We can still make that work. Um, but I just, I do prefer this. Um, but that is why we have tape too. So to start out with, you are going to take your ruler and your yarn. You are going to measure, turn it so you guys can see, you are going to measure 12 inches twice so 24 inches of yarn um, and you're gonna do it twice so you need two pieces that are two feet long so two pieces that are 24 inches my ruler for whatever weird reason is 12 and a half inches I don't know why that's just how it is um, it's an odd choice but there we go so I, I'm going to keep that in mind when you guys see me measure I'm actually only going to measure to this point on the ruler rather than all the way to the end because my ruler is 12 and a half so, I'm going to lay my yarn out. I'm not going to stretch it. Yarn is very, um, or at least this yarn has a lot of stretch to it. So if I stretch it out, I'll actually wind up with less yarn than what I want in the long run. So I'm going to lay it out. Then I'm going to pinch it where the 12 inch mark is. Take that pinch down to the zero. Lay it out again. And then I'm going to cut at the 12 inch mark. Um, it does not have to be a perfect 24 inches if you did 22 or 25 that would be fine the important thing is we're not going to use our ruler again for the second string the important thing is that your strings are the same length the more symmetrical you get this it's going to be um, two cups dangling on either side and that's what a balance scale does is it weighs by weight so if it's heavier the thing that's on the heavier side will sink and the thing that's on the lighter side will rise and so the more symmetrical you have the pieces of your scale, the more accurate you're gonna get. Obviously, this is not um, a super accurate measurement. You wouldn't wanna use this um, for any kind of scientific projects, but it is a fun illustration of um, weighing things. So um, it's so fun. So we're gonna match up our ends of our string. And I'm gonna try to get them, again, I'm not really pulling, I'm just kind of laying them together. I'm not like pulling on it. So we're going to come to the other end and we are going to cut right there. I like to even cut a little bit off the end there just to make certain sure that I am even. So I now have two pieces of string that are about two feet long each and we're going to move on to our paper cups. So what you're going to want to do, I like to use this line as my guide but you're going to want to find just any point at the top of your cup. Um, I'm gonna go directly across from this line because I'm gonna use that line as my guide. And you're gonna punch a hole through your cup. I'm gonna do it pretty close to the lip. You don't wanna go right on the lip because um, especially if you have a paper cup, although I think this is probably the case on plastic as well, they kind of have a rolled over lip so it's really thick right at the lip. And so you don't want to actually punch through that. Um, it'd be very hard, but you're going to punch a hole there. And then you are going to punch a hole on the exact opposite side. So if you line it up well, it doesn't have to be perfect. But again, just the more symmetrical you get this, the more accurate your scale is. But because this is a pretty inaccurate scale, just in general, you'll get a good idea of the weight of things. Um, even if you're a little off, it's not really going to matter. 
Um, this is not going to give us, obviously there's no numbers on our scale. It's not going to give us like this weighs 50 pounds. Um, and actually if you weighed anything that weighs 50 pounds, you'd probably break the scale. But it will tell us that something is heavier than the other thing. So it's, it's a pretty um, loose gauge anyway. So you don't have to be precise. So again, I'm going to punch a hole on this cup close to the lip. I'm going to go over to the opposite side and do the same thing like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread my string through that hole and then out the other side. So what you're going to have is the string running across your cup and that is okay. This is just the easiest way to do this. Um, there's all different kinds of ways you can do this. You could tie each end around the end, um, but then that gives you one, two, three, four knots, whereas if you do it this way, you only have two, and the knots are another part where um, your symmetry can get off. So we're just gonna tie our two ends, we're gonna gather them in our hand, like so, so that they're even on the end, and we are gonna tie them into a knot. So that's a, just in case you need to know how to tie a knot, you hold the two ends in your hand, you loop it around your finger like that, and then you take the loop off your finger, and these two ends that are crossing over the front of the loop come around behind and through, and then you pull, in case you need to know how to tie a simple knot there. So we're gonna try our very, very best to get our other knot the same as this one. Um, that is very hard to do, so don't feel bad if you're a little off. So there's one cup, that's one of our sides of our balance scale. We're gonna do the same thing with the other. So again, threading through one side and out the other. Gathering our two ends together, looping around our finger, through the loop and pull. And then let's see how even I got it. Oh wow. That is actually very close to even. I think this one's a smidge shorter, but that's probably the closest I've ever gotten on that. So, yay. So now our balance scale is almost complete. What you're going to do is you're gonna take your coat hanger, you're gonna loop one of these here, loop, helps if I actually get it on, doesn't it? One of these here, and one of them here, and then you're gonna go hang it up. And I'm going to cut the video right here and come back when I have mine hanging up so I can show you how to work your balance scale. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are back and I have my DIY scale set up. A little back behind the scenes uh, look of my story time area too. But you can see I have it hanging on a ruler that's strung between two chairs. Now you guys do not have to do this. Um, Presumably, you guys are at home and you have closets where you hang your hangers and you can just clear out some space in your closet, just move the clothes to one side or take them off for a little bit and get some space so that you can hang the hanger up, um, the DIY scale up, so that your scale can hang freely and nothing is touching it. So you can do this in your closet, which is actually where I recommend you do it because you will have a round rod in your closet and it will do a better job holding up your scale and letting it move. So once you have your scale hung up, what you are going to do is you're going to put some stuff in it. So step around here and so you put something on one side, I'm going to use a glue stick and you guys can see it tips downward. So the, we know that obviously the glue stick is heavier than this cup over here, which has nothing in it. Um, if we take that out, see if we can get it go lower. I've got three Sharpies here and they go really low. You might wanna balance things in the cup. You can see how my Sharpies are tipping the cup over a little bit because they're so long. Um, so they're throwing off just the balance of the cup itself. So if depending on what you're weighing, if it spills out, you may have to adjust it how you put it in the cup. So we are going to weigh a glue stick and a Sharpie and see which one weighs more, hopefully. So I'm going to put the glue stick here in the back, and then I'm going to put the Sharpie here in the front. And 
Right now, it looks like the glue stick is heavier. I thought the Sharpie would be heavier. Um, so the glue stick is lower than the, the cup of the glue stick is lower than the cup of the Sharpie. So we can tell that the glue stick weighs more. Now that's about all. And that looks a little balanced. So maybe, maybe a little bit more. So you have two. There we go. So a glue stick, two Sharpies, about the same. Um, at least from here. It's better to view it from the side. So you guys actually have a better view of this than I do right now because I'm above it and it's harder to tell. But you guys can weigh things, see which is heavier than the other. That's about all you're going to be able to see with this. But I hope you guys have fun with this activity and have fun just weighing random things at your house. Thank you.